Hey everybody, Dominic Katarski here, founder of Sales Success Academy and author of The Making. And welcome back to Sales Success Studio. If this is your first time here, we help salespeople, sales managers, business owners and entrepreneurs to learn basic sales skills and advanced sales skills and people skills in order to build a better rapport and get their, their, create a better relationship with clients and customers in order to grow profits and grow the business. In this particular training, what I want to talk about is the, is the model that you, that you should use inside your sales organization or a model that you should use for yourself if you're a solo salesperson in order to make sure that you're continuing to improve and continuing to get better at all aspects of your, of your rapport building and all aspects of your, of your sales development. And you know, the thing I love about sales is you can always improve and you can always get better. And of course we go through our good times and our, and our slump times. And of course we've always dealt with, with great products and some not so good products. And so there's a constant development that will always go on inside your, your own personal development and also your organization. So let's look at what we're, what I want to focus on here for the sales model is is really the the formula for high performance and in order to perform at a very high level in in sales and in business the first thing you want to do is if we've got p plus tss plus pma so the the p here stands for high performance is equal to preparation which is obviously something that none of us can go without doing Pre prepare before you meet the client also the TSS stands for technical sales skills and you know depending upon the product or the service that you're that you're bringing into the market there's always some sort of technical aspects and the last being the obviously I love this one positive mental attitude but this has more to do with your psychological readiness your ability to to think positive and go into the marketplace with a positive mental attitude and if you look, if we go down here and you can look at the model, we've split it up into basically two sections and you've got one which is a, is a training role. So these are the training role exercises and on this side of the, of the pie. And on the other side, you've got your coaching role. So I want to run through each one of these and explain to you specifically, especially if you're uh, uh, running your own sales organization, how you should be looking and how much time you should be spending on, on these areas. And, and also if you're in charge of your own development to make sure that you either go out into the marketplace and get this, uh, get access to this information yourself or you encourage your, your sales manager or your director or your boss, whoever is in charge of the company to make sure that they're investing in all these areas so you can con continue to perform at a high level. So if we go on the, the, if we look at the, at the whole of the role of the sales model, Obviously, psychological or positive mental attitude readiness is a huge section of it. We've got, it's probably mostly, I would say, if that's 50%, so we're talking 40% or 45% of, of continued performance has to do with, with being psychologically ready. Now, this will cover everything, and this is where coaches come in. If, you, if you're a proper sales coach, they're going to be talking to the individual or the sales group about their, their thinking, um, their, their beliefs, also about their ability to focus on, on the task at hand, focus on, on making those calls or focus while they're in conversation with, with their, their client or customer and how they're running through the sales process. Down here we've got coping with pressure. This is a big, big, big thing in sales because some salespeople thrive under pressure and others don't do so well and perform less. So you have to have the, the balance between push and pull and you know carrot and stick, so to speak, in sales organizations. And I think that you know studies have shown, especially over the last 15 or 20 years, that, uh, that the most important thing you can do is support, especially as a sales manager, is to support your people, get them all the tools, everything they need in order to perform well. And obviously you want to have motivational factors out there, whether it be bonuses or gifts or weekends away. And I find that all too often, most organizations just focus on the money, where oftentimes the best thing you can do is focus on something that will, will get the salesperson working hard, so then they can get kind of a break. So sometimes what I did very successfully is give away weekend retreats away with, with, your, with your girlfriend or your loved one, um, or, or boyfriend or loved one, vice versa. So. Coping with pressure is a big one. Self-belief in terms of, of the individual salesperson. 
Uh, mental tactics and strategies will be covered on the coaching role and also psychological read readiness, your ability to, to believe in yourself and your product and your service and going out into the marketplace. On the training role side, we have preparation obviously here, which is everything from your, your own product knowledge and your own experience and also pre-call preparation, making sure that you know who you're speaking with, what you're going to speak with them about when you go on your calls. And then we've got the other section, which is, is a big part of the pie, which is your technical skills, which will be the, the sales skills that you have and communication skills. And what I'll do inside Sales Success Studio and Sales Success Academy is to, to basically hit through all my training videos on all aspects of the, the sales model because they're all important in their own way and you, you can't just leave out one section just focus on, on sales skills or just focus on communication skills. I have uh, a real passion for being able to maintain and, and have a positive mental attitude and that was one of the, the biggest things that I focused on with myself when I was out in the sales field and, and when I go out and, and when I'm making calls to, to clients and, and I found that, that I spent a lot of time with that when I had a, a, a massive sales organization. At one point in my career I had sales people in uh, working and, and, and going for it in 11 different countries um, around the world. So you can imagine I spent a lot of time on the positive mental attitude, a lot of time on the push, a lot of time on the development to help my sales managers to get better at working with their people and my organization to get stronger and get better. So it was a very brief introduction on high performance. So have a look at your own situation and look at, at your prepar preparedness, look at your, your technical sales skills, how good are they. Measure them on a scale from 1 to 10 and also your, your psychological ready for, readiness for the day because when you put all of those aspects together, what happens is, is you're, you're moving towards the high performance where you want to be and where you want your team to be. So I'll see you on the next video. Let's keep in touch. Leave some comments below on the, uh, the, the little Facebook thing there and uh, I'll, I'll hit every single comment that you have and I, and I want everybody to go out there have a, a massive day, a massive week. Remember, be bold, be strong. Be brave and go for it today. See you on the next video.